Okay, everyone, good evening. Hopefully, you will uh, be able to hear this clearly and be able to see some of the amazing items that I got for a penny at Dollar General over the last week. This is Coupon Chest. As you guys know, I love Dollar General and penny shopping is probably one of my favorite things in life. So right now, there's a couple different things you're looking for um, that have recently gone to a penny. And you can also still be keeping your eyes out for things that went to a penny prior to right now. So one of the main things... Um, that you're looking for it right now is purple dot home items and that's home items that have a purple dot on the price tag as you can see right here all of these nested baskets here there's a small one a medium one a bigger medium one and there's actually a bigger one than that um, all of those are ringing up a penny right now at dollar general this is not a sale so what you find is that this is not a sale and then they go back up this is clearance items that they're going to be pulling from the store so if you don't find them they will remove them and later on they're going to come back with a full price tag so <laughs> get them while you can but please don't wait um the rules for penny shopping are usually very simple one don't call the store and ask them if they have penny items because they're not going to tell you that two don't go in the store acting crazy if you find some items that look like these items that are not a penny make sure you're paying attention to the tag the signage and the color dot because Dollar General is notorious for bringing back the same item with a different tag on it at full price. So these are some of the baskets. There's also another type of basket that looks like a rooster, kind of a, a rooster pan cage. This is a six pack of washcloths. As you can see, clearly the purple dot is on the tag for this, okay? And they are kind of a salmon, if you will, like a white and salmon. This one is kind of tan with a salmon stripe, okay? These are a penny. So everything you're seeing in this video right now, if you get it at Dollar General, it is automatically going to scan one penny, okay? So you don't have to add. You can ask them to check the price if you're unsure, but if it has a tag with this purple dot on it, it should be ringing up a penny, um, except for pillows. Pillows, travel pillows, or regular bed pillows are not, I repeat, are not ringing up a penny, even though they have the purple dot on the tag. So avoid pillows and travel pillows but if you're finding washcloths towels baskets candles candle holders um, these mugs are another one they have some that say love they also have some that say do what you love these are purple dot these are a penny regular price one dollar um this is great it's like a really large candle holder it's kind of an ombre sort of thing it's very solid here but it gets a little bit more clear towards the bottom as you can see purple dot there there's a lot of these little monogram paper kind of storage boxes things. And I'll open that up so you guys can see the inside of it. It's just a box in the shape of a letter. And you can lift it up and there you go. It's just empty inside. Regularly $2.50. Now one penny. So you can save money on that. There's quite a few candles that I found. And some of these may not have the purple dot in your store. Okay. So this one had the purple dot. It says bling spell binding. Vanilla and cashmere, as you can see, has like the silver top on here. Purple dot on the bottom. And this is part of this label, so this should be here. But this one, purple dot, I don't know if you guys can see it really well with the angle of the camera, but this is a sticker. The price is a sticker on this one. So what happens sometimes is that these little stick-on price tags like this will come off. So you won't know. What will end up happening is I saw this in a store. It did not have, as you can see, this does not have a price tag with a purple dot sticker. So I did ask for a price check on this and it rang up a penny so that I knew when I saw it anywhere else, even though it didn't have the purple dot, that this is actually purple dot, okay? So it's, don't be afraid to ask for a price check. Please don't ask them to price check 20,000 different things. If you see things that people have gotten for a penny already and you have checked off to make sure you're looking at the right price tag, um, you should be okay. This is another one, Island Palm. It's a little bit wider base of the candle. As you can see right here, there is a purple dot on it. But if you find this exact candle, and this, because this is a peel-off sticker, and this sticker is not here, it's still going to ring up a penny. So you don't need the sticker if you know something is a penny already. This is like a ceramic tray monogram. Also a penny. You can see the purple dot right there. Some other quick items. These are velvet hangers. They're kind of like kid size hangers. Also scanning for a penny. That's part of my box there. These have been out for a while. I liked them when they first put them out. They are um, ice cube trays. They're shaped like diamonds. So little diamond shaped ice cube trays. It's great for like a girl's night or decorative jello shots or whatever you want to do. 
pot holders there's quite a few pot holders and towels that go together as you can see these right here they both say fabulous on them these are ringing up a penny purple dot right there on the sticker there's also this uh, version of the purple dot pot holder that says omg sweetie diva so i found quite a few of these which are always useful i thought this was cute um it makes a cute little wedding kind of favor gift decoration it says his and hers and as you can see hers is pretty big <laughs> uh this is a uh, kind of like a hanging on the wall you can hang keys and stuff on it it says hello i don't know if you can see that really clearly but purple dot right there it's got some little hooks on it so maybe you can hang your keys and stuff but it looks like it might be bent so it might just say hello okay <laughs> Then this, they have a few different types of jars like this. It has a little nail polish on the front. You can see the purple dot on the bottom there. Also, you wanna be on the lookout for shower curtains. This is kind of the plastic sort of shower curtain. Purple dot right on the front of it. You wanna look for your dot. This is another set of kitchen towels, but it's a set of two, okay? So you have this kind of teal leopard and then you just have the plain teal. That's a two-pack of kitchen towels for one cent, which is a deal you're not going to find anywhere else. Now I'm going to move into some of the older holiday stuff that I found. Um, usually, I'm always checking if you know a holiday has gone. Like this is Easter decoration stuff, Penny. This is Christmas. This is a cookie cutter to make like the walls of gingerbread houses. Um, this is a Penny. I just got these. Uh, two days ago another one this giant gingerbread house candle i knew this was a holiday candle from last year it doesn't have any dots or anything but the holiday stuff from last year had this kind of sparkly metallic price sign i don't know if you guys can see that but it's like silver and then the the number is white on the background so i knew that this was from last year christmas time sure enough it's still ringing a penny sometimes items will reset so but these have not as of yesterday so be on the lookout for that this is also from christmas time it's a frozen lip balm they have a couple different varieties of this there's um a pink one like this as well those are a penny still finding them here's another frozen lip balm from christmas time that i just found yesterday a penny we also have some some lip balms and pretty much there's a lot of different lip balms like this this little three part lip balm there's my little pony there's Frozen, um, there's Sum Sums. I think there's even like a Peppa Pig. All of those are ringing up a penny. And this is the little, as you can see, this little Christmas sticker. It looks like an ornament with the number in the middle. This one doesn't have it, but I knew that it was a penny, so I grabbed it. Let's see some other holiday stuff. These were holiday nails. Um, they have Disney princesses on them. There are two versions of this floating around, though. Um, there's one box that's a lot more blue that does not have this sticker on it. So be on the, be careful if you see that, okay? Um, this is a Christmas coloring book. Also a penny right now. Any of the Christmas coloring books that have like Christmas characters and stuff on them, there are some other things that have this red sticker that are ringing up full price. So make sure they're like Christmas decorations. Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, um, Santa Claus, stuff like that for the Christmas holiday stuff. Now... I'm going to get into some more of the, um, well, one more older thing. These, they are emoji headbands. They say emoji expressions. These are red triangle. Red triangle came out last year and it has pennied. So if you find red triangle items, and as you can see on the back of here, um, there's not really much identifying info on here, but this red triangle pennied quite some time ago. So if you're finding a red triangle, I would take it to the register and I would anticipate it to be a penny, especially these, because they didn't make these in a newer version. And they have a couple different faces on them. Like there's quite a few different faces that they have. So be on the lookout for those. And these are usually always like mixed in somewhere. I never find them like with hair stuff. I always find them kind of mixed around. So that's a little bit older item. These, this Nest Tea Ice Tea. I just found these yesterday. These painted months ago. Um, there's two versions, peach and lemon. They have a sweet tea version that is full price. They also have a raspberry version that is full price. The peach and the lemon penny though. So if you find nest tea, 
iced tea. This is a 23 ounce bottle, 23 ounce nest tea iced tea, peach or lemon. Okay, those are a penny. Now we got a lot of toys that Penny recently, the Penny toys that Penny recently have a blue star. There are also in some areas white dots on some of the toys. We don't have white dots in my area. Um, but I was informed by another member of the coupon and clearance community that white dot toys were ringing up one, one cent as well. Um, we didn't have any white dot toys, but I looked at the pictures that she posted and sure enough, they were not white dot, but they did still ring up a penny. They didn't have any dot on them at all in my area. So um, I'll get into some of those. These are called Sparkle Art. It's kind of a activity sort of little thing. It has some small markers. It's glittery around the side, and you can color in the inside with the markers if you want. As you can see, there's a blue star on those. Any toy tag that you see with a blue star on it is going to ring up a penny, okay? So... And they also will have, let's see if our camera will focus for you. Right next to the UPC on many of them, you're going to see the letter F as in Frank 15. So that's F15 near somewhere near the price tag on these blue star toys, okay? So there's a pony version of the Sparkle Art, big love and peace heart. And then there's also the peace symbol. All these Sparkle Arts are one cent. At Dollar General, these metallic tattoos, as you can see, they have a sticker on top of the blue star. Be careful. There are some like this that have a white dot that are full price. So be careful. Look for the blue star ones. As far as other blue star toys, there's a couple different brand families that I was really glad to find stuff with. Um, Frozen is one of them. As you can see, this is a draw wash it's a color and go olaf so you can draw on him then throw it in the washer wash all the marker off and they can draw on him again that was a penny regular price eight bucks this super cute disney frozen olaf plush regularly 10 bucks got it for a penny because it was a blue star on it okay then we got some more frozen stuff down here you have a frozen puzzle be sure to look in puzzles because usually there's a lot of like puzzles and small time activity things that will be pennying out all at once. So this is a frozen puzzle, blue star. We also found a frozen chalkboard with a blue star on it. it has a chalkboard, a little snowflake eraser. Also ran into some frozen glow bracelets. This was also a penny. Not, um, they do have like a necklace that's out that's frozen. That is not a penny. It was ringing up $1.55, I believe. So avoid that. We've also got some minions. This is a minion puzzle. You can see the blue star on there. Small, just like the frozen one. Then you have these little minions mystery characters that are inside of a sealed up. So you can't see what it is. Um, these are Mega Blocks Series 3 Minions. So you don't really know what you're going to get in here. It's more than one little thing. I, don't, I haven't opened any of them. The reason I picked this up is because at one store, I saw one with a tag that had a blue star on it. Some of the other stores, there, did, there was not a tag, but I knew because I had already gotten one that had a blue star on it that this was blue star, okay? So even if you don't see the tag, if you see these little minions mega blocks, take them to the register, they should be ringing up a penny. You got some little pinball games, little handheld pinballs with the beads in them. They had those in Avengers. So regular price, they were a dollar. Blue stars, you can see right on the tag. Those were Avengers. And then there's also a Paw Patrol version. Right here. And these were just kind of hanging with the regular toys on the display rack. They weren't pulled out to the side or in clearance or anything. So don't always expect things to be moved to the clearance section because sometimes things will go from being full price straight to a penny or being 50% off straight to a penny. So sometimes with things like your home goods, those are gonna go down on a sliding scale. Your clothes are gonna go down on a sliding scale as far as the sales cycle at Dollar General, but some things do not, okay? Um, let's see, we got some Sticky Hand Avengers, also Blue Star, a penny. A bunch of random plush. Make sure you check the plush because sometimes, like for instance, this horse, 
It's an animated horse. You're supposed to be able to squeeze the ear. I'm pretty sure the batteries are dead. You're supposed to be able to squeeze the ear and its legs start moving and it makes noise. Um, that has a blue star on it, but there are new ones right now that have either a blue dot or a yellow dot on them. So make sure you look closely. Don't just look at the item. Make sure you look at what's on the sticker because if it has a yellow dot, it's going to ring up full price. If it says anything other than F is in Frank 15 F15 on here, it's going to ring up full price. So um, consider yourself warned. <laughs> okay, look for the blue star item. If it has something other than a blue star, then avoid it. These are these little random plush monkeys and they're in a bunch of different colors and little dogs and stuff things all have one dollar blue star stickers on them all a penny i wanted to get these out of my way okay these we thought were really really cute this is uh some more blue star this is a disney jewelry set it's a little mermaid jewelry set it's got some little earrings barrettes and a necklace one penny even if you don't see a tag on this if you see this item check it because it should be ringing up a penny unless you see that it has a different tag on it as you can see the f15 right there right there this is going to ring up a penny even if you don't because this is just a sticker stuck on top of here so this sticker could come off or the store may have never put the sticker on their inventory when they got it so if you see this aerial jewelry set check it please do not grab a tangled jewelry set and check it because that's not what this is <laughs> now if you want to go and price check a tangled jewelry set that you see that looks like this by all means do that but if you see this trust this if you see something else check the price okay um i, I cannot even tell you the number of comments and messages i get from people that say oh i had that and it wasn't the same price but it's not the same item so make sure you're paying attention to that this is a disney princess sparkle and glow bracelet with the disney princesses on it like i told you guys the there's a frozen version that's similar to this that is ringing up full price this disney princess one is one penny so that is oh we got a little candy crush plush which is interesting and it actually does it talks <laughs> so we thought that was kind of cute it's a candy crush little plush that makes noise it'll say things like tasty delicious so <laughs> we got a kick out of that at the store also oh ooh, oh okay well i guess that's for my kids this peppa pig lip balm was from christmas um and it literally was still hanging on one of those strips right in the aisle just out in the open it was not in clearance it was not pulled to the side it was not marked i just happened to know that a lot of these character lip balms and things penny at christmas time so i'm usually still always looking for things that have pennied before you never stop looking for something that pennied before because the way dollar general works is that most of them are overcrowded and they have a lot of stuff in their stock room that they have not been able to put on the floor yet so sometimes what'll happen is they'll pull out a whole box full of crap that pennied already and put it on the shelf and not even know it until people come in and buy it so um, don't be afraid to check some stuff. A lot of Star Wars toys. I'm going to show you guys quite a bit of Star Wars stuff. So if it's Star Wars stuff, even that looks similar to this, because I still didn't get, there's at least five or six more different types of Star Wars toys that I've seen with blue stars before they penny that I did not get. Um, so be on the lookout for Star Wars toys. Most of these have the little sticker stuck onto them. So if you see this exact thing, it says action light darth vader light force if you see this exact thing and it does not have a sticker it is still supposed to be ringing up a penny and you see the f15 right there sorry guys my focus is not the greatest today my phone doesn't wear glasses but it should so that is one of the star wars there's a lot of star wars this is a star wars four in one game it has dominoes Battle matching, bingo, and starship race. All together, one penny. See, this is a sticker just on top of here. So if you see this without this sticker, it shoots. And it says F as in Frank, 15, next to that UPC, then it should be ringing up a penny, okay? There's not really a lot more assurance I can give you on that. Like, even if you don't see the F15 in a little rectangle, right at the bottom under the UPC for this, and I'm going to try to get it to focus in a little bit better for you. 
there are some numbers and then there it, those numbers end with F is in Frank 1 5 you see the little rectangle there but the numbers right up under the UPC end in F15 as well. So if you find that, you're in, you're in pretty good shape to know that that's a penny, okay? This is another just random box puzzle. But a 100-piece puzzle for a penny definitely isn't bad. These make great donations gifts. Um, if you have veterans affairs offices, nursing homes, um, shelters, homes for children, puzzles make great donation items, especially at this price. Load up and uh, go donate them. Lots of little Star Wars. These are called Star Wars Micro Machines, okay? So they're really little. I don't know if you guys remember Micro Machines. They used to make these little itty-bitty cars, way smaller than Hot Wheels. And so they have a Star Wars version. So the, as you can see, all three of these are different. You have this one with the ship, some of the ships on it. You have this one. And then you have this with some of the smaller little vehicles and stuff. So... Star Wars and they all these have blue stars but again these are just stickers so if these are not on there and you see Star Wars micro machines take them to the register you don't always need a sticker because some stores realistically do not put the stickers on their items so don't be surprised if you find these exact items with no sticker on them that says blue star that's why I want to show you guys the exact items and I always, I always talk to you guys about the UPCs and the letters on the UPC that say like this F15 that looks exactly like this should be one penny a dollar general. Okay, so we grabbed a few of those and they're actually different designs. As you can see, there's quite a bit of Star Wars stuff at Dollar General that has penny right now. So make sure if you're a Star Wars head that you go in there and check those out. Like as you can see, look at this. All three of these are different. Each one of these has different puzzle designs in it. So it's three different boxes, three different styles of those. Um, and I'm going to go back. I'm going to go around. The table is big, but there's a lot of stuff on it. So I can show you the last um, couple Star Wars things. One is this Star Wars splat ball. It has Darth Vader on it. Again, sticker with blue star. Go around back. You're going to see that F-15. If we can focus on it. Well, if you're in the store, you focus on that F-15. If you see F-15 on there, even if you don't see this sticker, when you see this item, get it. Don't go in there and pick up, I don't know, something totally different. Star Lords of the Universe. And then tell me, it didn't ring up right for me. Okay? Make sure you're grabbing the right things. Most of penny hunting is just paying attention to detail. I talked to you guys about white dot toys. This is the item that um, I saw a picture of that had a white dot sticker on it. It had a price tag just like that. Instead of the blue star, there was a white dot under it. There were no white dots in any of the stores that I've gone to, and I've gone to over, over 10 stores. There were no white dots anywhere. But because I saw this item, I knew what it said. I knew what the packaging looked like. I uh, went ahead and got it. This one does not have the Ephesus and Frank 15 on it. But I had seen a photo. I knew what it said on the side. It says Wicket, W-I-C-K-E-T, Star Wars. And it has like the big character on the packaging, not a starship. I would check anything that looks like this little car with a character on the package and not a starship. Um, and it, it may very well be a penny. But these were the only ones that I saw um, like that that were different than the micro machines. Okay. Oh, this is an Avengers sticky fist so you kind of toss this and this thing gets stuck on stuff also blue star i thought these were pretty cool there's a big like decoration art set that's star wars this blue star i think regular price is like 20 bucks this is a light up poster so you're supposed to be able to color it in and then push the button and light up the lightsabers they used to have the if you're old enough you remember light up posters people used to have this, these i think are going to need fresh batteries because I haven't been able to get them to light up, um, but for a penny, a fresh battery won't hurt anything. Now, I got to go back around so I can show you guys some of the first aid stuff that penny. Now, this is an older penny here. This penny quite some time ago. It's Phazime anti-gas pills. As you can see, the price on it says $2.10. It is the 180 milligram. 
If you go to the shelf on Dollar General right now, you'll see a lot of the 250 milligrams, not the same item. 180 milligrams, 12 soft gels, okay? 180, 12. That is a penny. It's been a penny since earlier this year. Uh, another item that's been a penny for quite some time is this True Living Floral Tape. This went to a penny early in the spring. It is the 54.8 count, though I've not seen any more floral tape at Dollar General. If you see the True Living Floral Tape, grab those. Those are a penny. Uh, let's talk coffee really quick. If you can see these gigantic cans of Folgers up here. There are multiple Folgers cans that I'm told. These are the only ones I was able to find. This is the Folgers Gourmet Supreme. Okay, it is 24.2 ounces, not 20 ounces. If it says 20 ounces, don't get that one because it's not the right one. It's 24.2 ounces, okay? That is a penny. There's also the Black Silk. You also have the Folgers Black Silk. 24.2 ounce also a penny so make sure if you see this coffee even if it's on the regular shelf even if it's not in the clearance section if you see Folgers Gourmet Supreme 24.2 ounce it is a penny you can see the sticker on it says seven dollars and fifteen cents I paid a penny for all three of these okay another one the Maxwell House Max K cups these as you can see clearance 550 these are a penny I haven't seen another version of this. So there's not like a new one that they brought out. Now with the Folgers, they're bringing out smaller cans. That's why these are being pennied out and taken away because they're bringing out smaller size cans. So instead of 24.2 ounces, the new cans are 20 point some odd ounces. So that's the difference with those. So make sure you're looking at that. And these don't expire for quite some time. I think these don't expire until I think December. Yeah, this one is December 23rd, 2018. So these are not expired. Get some coffee. If you buy coffee, this is you're not going to have a better deal than a penny. <laughs> anyway, I've not seen anywhere that's going to do better than that. You don't have to pay tax on the food in Michigan. So then we have a couple first aid items. Um, there are more first aid items. These were just what I was able to find yesterday. So I'm going to try to repost the list on my Instagram page if you guys are following me there. That's at Coupon Chess, C-O-U-P-O-N-C-H-E-S-S. -S. Um, you guys can grab me there. Um, these are some of the health and beauty items. So these allergy relief eye drops. Um, it's a green, this is a greenish bottle. This is the DG Health brand, not Visine. This is the 0 0.5 ounce. I did not see any more sizes of this, but just so you guys are aware, 0 0.5 ounce DG Health allergy relief eye drops. And as you can see, I found 10 of those. So if you have to use eye drops, you guys know my allergies are something special. So I love allergy eye drops. <laughs> and when I can find them, I definitely do get them. Well patch. There's two different versions of this. It's kind of like in a little foil wrapper. They're supposed to be pain relief patches. You know, the kind you stick on your body, almost like a Thermacare or a Lidocaine patch. It's a one count package. There's two different kinds. This is the warming and then there's another kind. These are also a penny. You have some finger splints. This is the Rexall brand finger splints. You see you got two of them in there, a penny. I love first aid stuff for a penny. I always stock up on that because it just makes sense. This is DG Health Advanced Formula Scar Gel. Helps get rid of scars that you might have. Kind of like, it's like the Moderma that people buy for like $20 um, for a penny. I'll load up on this and just have to use it longer. <laughs> In case it's not as strong. Um, this is another one of my favorites. Gold Bond. Gold Bond Anti-Itch Cream. You guys know how expensive this stuff normally is. It was on clearance for like $3.60. One penny, okay? One penny for Gold Bond Anti-Itch Cream. If you're buying that at CVS, you already know how much it costs. So one penny is definitely a steal. And I think one of the last things I need to show you guys is Band-Aids. Band-Aid brand Band-Aids at that. So there are multiple types of Band-Aid brand Band-Aids. 20 count boxes with characters on them. There is a Frozen, which as you can see, I didn't find any of the Frozen. But I did find Paw Patrol, Finding Dory, and Star Wars. All of these were a penny each. So name brand Band-Aids, one cent at Dollar General. 
make sure you guys go go as quickly as you can again penny items are items that they usually remove from the store sometimes they send them back repackage them put a new tag on them and they bring them right back out in a few months with a full price sticker on them so get them while you can um, don't go in question employees about penny items definitely don't make a mess if you find a bunch of stuff and you see it and they go up there and it's not a penny please politely put it back where you found it not in the middle of the aisle or on the ground okay this is another basket i don't know if i let you guys see this one um so this is more of a weave basket but as you can see purple dot right on there um picture frames like i told you guys shower curtains rugs any of that stuff you see with the purple dot definitely take it to the register um sometimes people do run into trouble with being able to buy penny items sometimes store employees don't want to sell them which they are perfectly allowed to sell them please do not let them tell you people are going to get fired or people will lose their job over penny items or the company will get mad at them because that's not true they were supposed to remove the items from the floor the reason they ring up a penny is to give them the signal that okay you need to go get the rest of these off the floor if you have them you can buy them they do not i repeat they do not have to allow you to go back and search for more like if you went there and you just were scared and you were like oh i don't want to take all these band-aids up there what if they're not and you just took one box but they had 15 boxes they're not supposed to refuse to sell you the box you have at the register that you're trying to purchase they do not have to allow you to go back to the shelf and grab the other 15 and purchase those. So they do have the right to say, no, we can't let you go back and get any more. So if you suspect it's a penny, please take it to the register with you when you are going to check out. As always, if you guys have any questions, definitely let me know. It is, um, as far as we know, scheduled to be a Dollar General clearance event next weekend, August 24th, 25th, and 26th. Uh, ebooks will be available and I will be doing some video teachings and things leading up to that for people who have previously purchased my ebook and you guys who have purchased already will be receiving an update with updated coupon matchups so um, be on the lookout for that uh, that's all I have I got to clean up all this stuff and <laughs> get it packed away all the stuff that we're going to give away and get rid of so hopefully this was really helpful and you guys will be able to go out there and find some awesome stuff at Dollar General. Make sure you guys like the video, subscribe to the channel, and make sure you guys are also following on all the rest of my social media at Coupon Chess, C-O-U-P-O-N-C-H-E-S-S, on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, Snapchat, you name it. You can find me there, Periscope, at Coupon Chess. All right, guys, have a great day.